Unique New York. Unique New York. I need to look straight into this bitch. Be careful. Hi everyone, my name is Jamie and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming my everyday makeup routine. So if you want to learn how I got this look right here, then please keep watching. Okay, so first and foremost, you want to make sure that your skin is freshly washed and moisturized. And then I always keep a little hand sanitizer at my makeup station. I just do this right before I start my makeup. I'm going to prime my face with the NYX Pore Filler. I'm kind of pressing it into my skin. I'm not like smearing it around at first. Just kind of pressing it in, in my T-zone area, especially where my pores are the like hugest. So next I'm going to take my Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation in shade 4.0 and I'm just going to put one pump on the back of my hand and I'm just going to do little dots all over my face. So for me what I like to do is start in the middle and work my way out. So it's going to look a little bit light at first but the color does oxidize. So for me I'm going to use the Morphe M439 brush to kind of Press in my foundation at first. So then after you've pressed all of your foundation into your face, you can take the brush and kind of lightly buff it in now just to kind of make sure everything's blended. Go around in any like areas of your nose maybe or even your eyelids. I like to go over my eyelids just to make sure that my face is one even clean slate, kind of the same color. So next I'm going to use this Naked Skin Concealer from Urban Decay. I really like this one for everyday wear. So I'm just going to put a little bit under my eye. So now I'm just going to take my damn beauty sponge and just press this and blend this into the skin. So then to set the cream products on my face, I'm going to use the Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder in the color yellow. And I'm going to use my Zoeva 105 brush and just lightly pat in this product into my under eye. And then I'm going to just take a fluffy brush and kind of take the excess product that's left in the cap here and just set the rest of my face. So usually it's a look that I do every day. I don't do any heavy contouring, but I do want to add some dimension back into my face. So for this, I'm going to use the Park Avenue Princess Palette from Tarte. And I'm just going to take this color here, Princess Cut, and I'm going to take my Morphe E48 brush and just lightly pat it in there, kind of on both sides. And in this area here, you can tell I already have a natural shadow. Most people do already have a little bit of a shadow in this area anyway. I just want to really lightly make little circular motions in here. And for my contour on my nose, I don't really do anything too crazy. So then for blush, I'm going to use this one from Pretty Vulgar. And I'm going to use my Zoeva 127 brush. And just go right over the top of my contour back here. Can we come up here? Come up here, look it. This is Stella. Be a part of Mama's Big Beauty video too. Yes, she did. Okay, sit down. Sit down, Mama. So now that the face is set and everything's done, I'm going to do my brows. So I'm going to rush through that really quick.
All right, so the brows are done. And if you're wondering what product I used, I used the Dip Brow Pomade in Ash Brown by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's my favorite product. I kind of reconstruct my brows because my brows are non-existent. So, yeah. So then I always like to set my eyelid. So I use the Smashbox 24 Hour Primer. So just put a little bit on my finger. Rub it in together. And just dab it on. So then if you just started using eyeshadow right over the top of the sticky primer, you're going to find that your eyeshadows aren't going to blend very well. So for me, I just like to take a flat brush and I'm going to go in with something close to my skin tone. I'm gonna going I'm gonna be going in with this golden ochre color. So now that you have your eyelids set, I'm going to go in with the rest of this palette. This is my favorite palette for everyday use. So you're going to start with a really fluffy brush. This is the Morphe M514, and I'm going to use this color Warm Taupe right here, and I'm just going to go right above my crease. You don't wanna go in with the darkest color first. You always want to start lighter further up and work your way down to a darker color. And I'll show you what I mean by that as we do this tutorial. Yes, I know, this is a mess. Do not judge me. And like I said, I'm gonna go right above my crease. So I'm going to go and use this raw sienna and put a little bit of this real gar in there, mixing the two together and go right underneath that shade that we just put down. And I'm still using the same brush. So if you wanna stop at two colors and then just do a lid color, that's fine. But for me personally, I like to add a little bit of depth into the outer corner of my eye and I'm going to use my Zoeva 231 brush and I'm going to use this Cypress Umber color again tapping it in tapping off the excess and I like to start at the bottom here and work my way up in small little motions like so and tilting your head back makes it a little bit easier too it's just going to smooth out that skin right there I like to do this because it allows me to pack on that color before I really blend it out. So I'm gonna grab that same Morphe brush and just blend that in. So then for my lid color, I'm going to, again, use another flat brush and I'm going to use this color Primavera right here I love this one for my eyelids. And then just pressing it into my eyelid. And then I just like to go back through again and blend the deeper color on the outer corner and the lid color together. So now that the eyeshadow is done on my top lid, I'm going to use the Stila Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner it's just intense black is the color. I like to do a winged eyeliner every day. You can use whatever eyeliner you want. Do whatever kind of eyeliner you want. I'm just going to pop on my wings real fast. Okay, so now that the eyeliner is on, I'm going to work on the bottom lash line. And I'm just going to use... A flatter kind of smudge brush. I'm using the Zoeva 226 smudger and I'm going in with that Cypress Umber color again and just working that and smudging it along my lower lash line. And then I'm using a really fluffy brush again, the 224 from Zoeva, and I'm going to use this burnt orange color right here and I'm just going to blend that out a little bit. So I'm not going to add any highlight to my face like on my cheeks or on my inner corner. I have really oily skin so in about an hour my natural glow is going to show through anyway. 
So now that that's all finished, I'm going to use some mascara. I usually would curl my lashes, but my friend has my eyelash curler. And I'm going to use the Double Decker Lashes by Butter London. I got this in my BoxyCharm, and I really do like this mascara. So I'm just going to do a few coats of that really quick. You guys, I didn't even curl my lashes, and they look so pretty. So for my lips, I'm going to use this nude color I have. I got this from a burlesque show. I'm not entirely sure the name of the brand, but I know that this shit stays on all day. So I use it, and I love it, and yeah. So yeah, nothing crazy with the lips, just something really soft, nude, neutral. So now that I'm finished with my face, I'm going to set it with my Mario Badescu Facial Spray. I use this one. It has rose water, aloe, herbs, other things. I don't know. It's really moisturizing and refreshing. I put a lot of powder and mattifying products on my face, so I think this just makes it look nice. All right, guys, this is the finished look. I really hope you were able to learn something from my everyday makeup routine. If there is anything else that you want to see that I've done today that you want to know more in depth, please let me know in the comment section below. Also, subscribe. I'll be posting a video to YouTube every Wednesday. So, yeah, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon.